But last year, it was about a year ago, I just haven't had a chance to get back up this direction at all, but about a year ago there was uh, some news about a little tourist attraction in this area that's actually making its way onto a postage stamp. And I wanted to get here last year, but I just never ever got around to it. And then now that I've got the Phantom 3, I thought what a great day to come out and maybe do some flyby on it. We're just on the outside of a small airport, but we're not in the range that's, uh, that's a no-fly zone. So we're good. We're green light to fly. I think the wind is good right now today. Like it's not, uh, not overly crazy. So we're going to take a trip to St. Jacobs to a little area called West Montrose. And we're going to have a look at a covered bridge. This, is, this will be pretty neat. I have never been here, so I'm looking forward to it. Bloody thing sees enough traffic, doesn't it? Just over an hour west of Toronto, a unique piece of history spans across the Grand River. The West Montrose Covered Bridge is the last wooden bridge in Ontario and the oldest wooden covered bridge in Canada. Built in 1880 by John Baer, a local barn builder, the total cost of to the township at that time was around 3200 bucks. The entire original structure was only supposed to have a useful lifespan of around 70 years and it was built entirely out of wood. It has seen some improvements over the last 140 years, but the visible form you see today is still true to the original design. These concrete piers it rests on today replace 15 wooden piles driven into the riverbed. Construction started in 1880, and the bridge opened to the public on November 15, 1881. However, the bridge was not painted until May of 1882. Original lighting at night was provided by coal oil lamps. These were replaced by electric bulbs in the 50s and sometime thereafter the wooden floor was upgraded to crushed stone. It comes by the name Kissing Bridge honestly. Keep in mind the horse and buggy was the only form of transportation in this area when the bridge was built. Tale has it the buggy owners would charge their female passengers a small toll for crossing the bridge with them. A discreet kiss under the privacy of the covered bridge was the currency. It got to be so commonplace that horses were known to stop their buggy under the cover of the bridge without any commands from the driver. This also resulted in a higher swimsuit sales for girls wanting to swim across the Grand River. Today the kissing bridge is still a popular spot for lovers to pop the question or shoot wedding photos. If you're ever in the Waterloo region, it's worth the trip, but don't forget your breath mints. <laughs> 